is being consistent slash having a routine important. So that's the question that I'm going to basically talk about today. Long story short, my personal answer to that is yes. Being consistent slash having a routine is very important. Here's my reason why for this. So us as human beings, we are just designed to have something to do, to, to have purpose, basically, right? To to be filled with purpose slash have something that we we do, that we live for. And so you think about it, um, you have that thing that you may realize that you want to do, right? Uh, for some some might want to become a lawyer. Some might want to become a politician. Uh, some might want to start their business. Some people might want to do some creative stuff. And I think for certain people, they may end up not seeing that come to pass. And part of the reason that plays into it is doing a reflection. Okay, let's take a look back at everything. You know, how much time did you spend every single day to invest or put into that, right? For law, for lawyers, how much time did you spend studying every single day for the bar exam or the other processes? For someone who wants to be a doctor, how much time did you spend studying single every single day? For an entrepreneur, how much time did you put into networking slash studying and understanding how to operate a business? Um... For the creative, how much time are you putting in every day to actually creating? And so, you know, in terms of consistency, right? I'll give you a little bit of an imagery. Imagine you had a, a jug and let's say the jug is you. And let's say the water that could be poured into the jug is your potential skills slash success of what you could do for that specific thing that you want to do. Now, let's say that daily things that you do are the daily things that could be done in order to get to where you need to get in terms of having the skill, having the, you know, the knowledge to do what you want to do to execute in your purpose. Doing the things that you need to do every single day is like adding a drop, a, a, a piece of a drop every single day of liquid into that jar right? So yes, today, there's only one drop of water or liquid inside of that jug, right? So you're not at the full potential and capacity to do what you want. But there is a drop in there. Now hear me out. So imagine you do that at a span of at a span of shoot 500 days. 500 days who knows where that jug might be maybe the jar may not be full after 500 days but the jar in 500 days will have more liquid inside of it the jug will have more liquid inside of it in 500 days than it did on day one and even though the jug may not be completely filled fully with the liquid it has way much more than it start off with now put that in context of you you put in 500 days of doing what you need to do for your purpose you are going to have more skills and potential to actually do that compared to day one so that is why i believe it's important to be consistent that speaks into consistency in general now in terms of a routine a routine is important because structure if you don't have structure or a routine for what you're doing it may be very easy to just have everything fall out of place. The easiest example I could give, let's say you want to lose weight and your routine is every day when you get up to go for a walk and do at least a mile of walking. And when you come, go to the gym, you do your ab workouts, or if you don't have a gym membership, you do your calisthenic workouts at home. Um, and that's your daily journey right so that's your routine every single day you wake up and you know you're supposed to be walking and doing your ab workouts now with that routine that person within 
a month or two, they're going to start seeing some major results in their weight. Now, compare that to someone who wants to lose weight, but they worked out on Monday. And then the next time they caught themselves working out again was in two weeks again. So they're not going to see too much of a difference because they didn't have that routine. They didn't have that routine of every day. I'm going to do this. And then routine doesn't even have to be for a daily base, but like make sure you have some type of schedule that you are following because that's the only way that's going to lead you to building that consistency. The routine slash schedule will make it easier for you to gain that consistency. And so it's possible. It's possible. It is very possible. I think the what you need to do for yourself is find a routine that fits and benefits you for where you want to go. And if it seems like a lot for the routine slash consistency of every day, I think it's very important to start small. You know, start with what you can do and still you get start getting a hang of it. Now, I will say, I think when it comes to a routine, sometimes it could be, you know, you could find reasons to fall out of it. So you always need to give yourself a reason, a reminder of why you are doing what you are doing, you know, right? You need to you need to always think about that purpose because that's going to go back to motivating to remembering why you do what you do. All right. So let's get it. Go get that routine for what you you believe that you are supposed to be doing and build that consistency. And I'm telling you, six months from now to a year to two years, you're going to realize you're in a different place than you first were. And even now, where you are right now is more than where you were a month ago or even five months ago, six months ago from where you thought you could be. You are able to do more now than you used to be able to do. So let that be a reason. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, God loves you.